Hey Blade Ops, today we are demoing the Spyderco Starmate and the product code from Spyderco is the C55GP. You can see the thinner G10 handle scales and it has the uh, three point uh, pocket clip that is a four way pocket clip and it comes right handed tip down. You can see the slight uh, lanyard hole and the uh, redesigned Starmate comes equipped with the uh, steel liners skeletonized and the revamped liner lock also skeletonized you can see there with a nice solid lockup. I'll show you the lockup when I open it up here. That has a nice nice lockup on the uh, Starmate. There's the uh, 3.75 inch uh, VG10 steel that's four millimeter stock I like the nice long grind on the blade. There's the uh, Terzula logo on the back and the VG10 and yes this is made in Japan and 8.7 inches overall for the uh, new and improved Starmate. It's pretty light for how big it is. You know you have almost a 9 inch blade, you're 4.9 ounces due to the uh, skeletonized steel liners and if, like I said at the beginning the uh, G10 is pretty thin. Uh, the only drawback for me on the uh, Starmate has to be the G10. It's a little sharp around the edges I don't know if that's intentional or just uh, the way it was processed or milled out, um, but other than that, really, really like the Starmate. It's a nice sized blade. It's not, it's not a small, small folder by any means, but if you're going to carry this, whip it out, you have almost a four inch blade and you get the excellent, excellent VG10 steel. Really like the design uh, Terzula does on the grind with the slight swedge. Also the hole position creates a nice thumb ramp and you have kind of the reverse ramp here, which it's a really cool design when you close the blade. It's just very attractive um, this way. So, overall, that's a quick little demo of the uh, new Spyderco Starmate. Love to know what you guys have to say about it. Comment down below and check it out, Blade Ops.